Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Average Garage here again. Now, one of the last episodes you would have seen, I actually blew up or skipped a tooth on the crank of this XR6 Turbo. Uh, the plan was to strip the car apart and part it out anyway, so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to start stripping it apart, so I'll bring you along for the ride. First of all, I've got to clean the shed up because it's atrocious. There's shit everywhere. So I'm going to clean the shed up, and then we're going to get to stripping that thing, start pulling some parts off. Pretty excited because I just want to pull stuff apart. So yeah, the shed is cleaner or cleaner than what it was. So I'm going to start attacking this Falcon, so let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you going? I've just stripped off the body kit as you would have seen. So the, that fender's, that, that, that fender, this one, is a bit trash, so that's not gonna be getting sold probably. Uh, the bonnet's still good, but I'm gonna take that off when the other bloke gets here because it's a lot easier with two people. So down here are some good bits. They're going to go when the bloke comes to pick them up. Rear bumper's off on the lawn. That's gonna get looked at today. Serious tool of power. One gripe about Ryobi is that they shut off under too much load.
12 point, you'll be right. Said nobody ever. So at the moment, I'm just removing these stupid little caps that Ford put on. It's great for not doing hose clamps up too tight in a factory, but it doesn't really help the end user. Thanks for watching. Um, it's just literally been me stripping the Falcon. Thanks to cameraman Chris, he's been helping out and grabbing heavy stuff. So thanks again, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see us in the next one. Next one we'll be working on the engine side of things and the gearbox, pulling those out. See so, you. Yeah, thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. And there's a spider living in there somewhere. Spiders, yeah. <laughs> but it does have KYB shockies, so you know, it's seen some love at some point. And a fingered washer bottle. <laughs> Literally fingered. Uh, Free grommet. There's gunk on it, but. Behind the driver's seat is what I can only describe as a massive orange spider that looks like food of some description and a free Macca's chip Ugh. Am I a panel beater? Absolutely fucking not but I do need a pry bar because you can't do panel beating without pry bars Good.